Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2020 with Africa Sports in a building, the nation, a nation, the nation save of the Ivory Coast. Now this is the start of season four and season four might be the shortest season in terms of episodes that we will ever have. And I'll tell you why in just a second. We've drawn the Kaiser Chiefs in at the Champions League first round, which is the team that has knocked us out of the Champions League in the last two seasons. Yes, last season was a final, but still, we've lost twice against Kaiser Chiefs. We've never beaten them, realistically. I think we technically did beat them in one match, or it was a draw, something along those lines. But yeah, we, we can't get past Kaiser Chiefs. So it means this season might be very quickly if we fall at our first hurdle. But anyway, as it is the start of a new season, we've got some transfer business to talk about. We have spent over half a million pounds, our biggest expenditure so far. Last season, we did spend a big sum of money, but it was only on one player. We've spread the money about a bit and we bought a lot of non-Ivorians, which kind of goes against the whole building a nation thing. But these are players that my plan is to develop and sell on. That's the goal with some of these players. Some of them are actually Ivorian, so hopefully they will become good, but we've got quite a few South Africans that we've signed. We're just going to work our way down the list. Keegan Koopstadt is first up, an 18-year-old South African left-back who I think is probably very good. He will be our number one fullback for the season, even though he counts as one of our six foreign players that I think we're allowed to play. Keegan Koopstadt looks good. Jackson Chitolo is next up, another South African. This time he is a central midfielder or an attacking midfielder. He's gone out on loan to Sewe FC because we can't really fit him into our squad. Plus, he is one of our many non-Ivorian non players, so he kind of needs to go somewhere because he's not going to get in our squad. He's played twice, apparently, for Sewe FC. Next up is a Guinean central defender called Chiki Karuma, who I think is bloody good. And already he is improving. After only been in the club for about a month and a half, Karuma is turning into a pretty decent player. He's going to play a lot of football for us. Still only 18 years old, will be 19 come the end of the season. But yeah, he looks good, doesn't he? He's six foot, he's got 17 heading. 10 jumping reach though. Now moving into the Ivorian contingent of our transfer window, Armand Coyate has signed from Volcan Junior in the Ivory Coast. Two star current ability, four and a half star potential on Coyate. Central midfielder probably won't play a huge amount for us this season. He might get the odd game here or there. We did struggle with central midfielders last season in terms of basically quantity. We kind of ran out of central midfielders. Coyate will probably not go out on loan. He might get a few games off the bench. Our biggest expense in the summer was Mark Oliver Kissidou from RC Abidjan. He's cost £325,000 if I'm not mistaken, which is a huge sum of money. But I think he will be our defensive midfielder for years to come. And you might turn around and say, but you've got Dossa Shorno. Yeah, Dossa Shorno might be leaving the club because a few teams in France came in for him. I've not sold him. He's still here, but he's not particularly happy. We've also signed a goalkeeper called Nicholas Tai, who is actually at Chelsea in real life. I brought him in, not with the intention of playing him. I brought him in with the intention of loaning him out to another one of the Ivorian sides. Because what I wanted to do is think, if they have a decent goalkeeper, they might start to progress up the table as well. So that was the goal to loan out Nicholas Tai. However, nobody wants to loan him. So uh, he's just going to sit on our bench probably all season. We've also got a number of players leaving the club, four of them on permanent deals. Yannick Kouame to FC Villefranche in France. Frank Irie has signed for SO Army. Diallo to LYS. And Ibrahima Utara has signed for AFAD Jekanu. And then you can see as well a number of players going on loan. Big Viv once again going out on loan to US Avranche in France this time. Uh, Chatolo, who we've mentioned, to Sewe FC. Ekma, Emeka, Emeka? It is Emeka. Emeka Lawal to USC Bassem. A few youngsters as well going out on loan to our feeder clubs. Abdul Diallo. And Mohamed Kouaku also going to a couple of other teams in the lower reaches of the Ivorian leagues. We're still not done. We've got to talk about how we got to this Kaiser Chiefs game. We've played a few matches already, as you can probably tell. We have beaten ASC Diaraf, who I think are Zambian. They are Senegalese. It's a Z Senegalese side. We beat them fairly comfortably. 4-0 in the first leg. 5-1 in the second leg. You can see the goal scores there. Then in the Premier Division, we've actually started exceptionally well. We've conceded just two goals in three games, which is actually quite a lot. But we have also scored just a ridiculous amount of goals. We've scored 15. We've scored 15 in three games. We might run away with this league. Oh, and we've also won the Super Cup 2-1 against Stad Abdeshan, Kayate and Fonsinho with the goals here. Before we play the Kaiser Chiefs match, which is actually in 10 days, so there's a bit of a break, I want to go through a bit of news about the squad. Alex Omatayo, the Nigerian right winger, 
He's currently wanted by FC Lorient in France. He's not happy because he wants to leave. I don't want to lose him just yet. I want him to stay for another season. But ideally, till the end of the season, we can then possibly bump up his price a little bit more. But Omotoyo might be leaving us at some point in this season, which isn't good. And the same thing with Dos Ashorno. Although there is nobody interested, Monaco did make a bid. And Monaco is a big club to turn down. It wasn't a huge bid, which is why I was like, you know what? No, we're rejecting that one. But yeah, Moussa Dossashorno really doesn't want to play in the Ivory Coast anymore. He wants to go to France, which is understandable because he's going to get paid a lot more money there. We're going to hopefully again keep hold of him for another season. Basically, we want to squeeze as much out of him as possible and maybe sell him with a 50% sell-on. If we can get somebody out of the club to a team like Monaco with a 50% sell-on and maybe even a loan back, that might be the way we do it. A couple of other things to talk about as well. Basilia Logan, who is our young striker, is now four and a half star current ability. He's pretty damn good. He can't finish, which is a concern. He's got 10 finishing, but yeah, he's really, really good, which is great. He's probably going to be our number one striker this season, apart from the next two to eight days when he has a hamstring injury. But yeah, Basilia Logan, I'm happy with that. We've also got Joseph E. Tim, who we signed last season. I think he's starting to get better. I might try and play him a bit more this season. He might be playing, basically, I think he'd be playing as probably the box-to-box -box midfielder on the left-hand side. Might even move him, actually, to become this deep-lying playmaker here if Musa Dossashorno does leave the club. We will see. Anyway, we've got to jump forward then. Ten more days to play Kaiser Chiefs in the first match of the episode. There's just a quick look at the Premier Division. We're second place because we played one less game than AS Tanda. So... We should be top of the table. Basilia Logan scored six. You think he's only played one and a half games? Okay, this is getting interesting. Laurent have actually made a bid for Omatayo. I've locked in the 50% sell-on, which they are happy to go with. However, this is their offer. If we can bump them up, maybe to 600k over various bits. So let's put that to there. Screw it. Let's go, let's go 700. 700k. Come on. You can do... Okay, Omatoyo might be out of the club, but we do have that big 50% sell-on. So if he goes to Lauren and then basically bumps up his value over the next few years, get shifted on to a much bigger club for a nice sum, we're getting half of that. I think we're accepting it. And just like that, Alex Omatoyo has left the club. He was only here for six months, but he came in on a free transfer, played really well actually, scoring three goals. I think he got more than that, didn't he? Yeah, scored some in the cup as well as the Champions League. He's off to France. He's signed up for FC Lorient. I mean, he's good, isn't he? He's going to be good. I'm hoping... I'm hoping they play him. Are they Are they League 1? They are League 1 or Ligue 1 in France. So maybe he's going to get some football. He's even a key player. How is he even a key player there? Let's go then. The fourth time we have ever played Kaiser Chiefs in this save, which is ridiculous. We've played Kaiser Chiefs more times in this save than some teams from the Ivory Coast, which is a bit odd. We have beaten them once before in the past. They've beaten us twice. We are on excellent form. They've drawn a couple of matches. Who have they drawn against? They drew with Sundowns and they drew with Orlando Pirates. We've beaten Orlando Pirates. We did that last season. So even though we've brought in a few players in the summer, we are only playing one of them. Basically, we are sticking with pretty much the same squad that we played last season. Christian Drogba in goal. It will be Keegan Koopstadt as that left back. He is our one new signing in the starting 11. Kuyate, Kuome and Mieri round off the back. Four with Dossashorno, Itim and Zazua as the midfield. Fonsinho, Alozi and Logan will be our attackers. Losing Omatayo probably isn't going to be such a big deal because it means Alozi can come back into the first team. Fonsinho can just basically shift back over to the right-hand side where he started basically last season. So, uh, yeah, let's play Kaiser Chiefs again for the bloody fifth time. Fourth time. It'll be fifth later on. So if we lose against Kaiser Chiefs, I imagine that this season's probably only going to be about two episodes long, maybe three. If we beat them, it could be an interesting season. There is an early chance, and it's... Is it a penalty? It's a penalty. The South African concedes a penalty against the South African side. Wonderful. We are 10 minutes on the clock. Christian Drogba is going to be the man in goal. And Gazana possibly steps up, sends Drogba the right way. But Drogba didn't really dive there, did he? We're 1-0 down already. If we lose, do we go into the, uh, the, the Europa League of Africa? I don't know what it's called. Is it the Confederation Cup or something like that? So yeah, maybe that's what happens. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe we can win that one. 22 minutes on the clock. Another chance possibly going. Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs are my nemesis. They are my literal nemesis in this game. I hope I never have to play them again. 
Almost half an hour on the clock. 2-0 down, which isn't good, but we're coming back. Alozi's long ball doesn't find anybody. Logan's going to get there first, hopefully. He does. Back to Alozi, who doesn't get the ball, though. And now Kaiser Chiefs can go long ball towards Ngakobo. Possibly runs towards Drogba. What a tackle that is from Koopstad. This time actually makes amends for basically giving them their first goal. But we are still losing 2-0. Still not quite at half-time. Koopstad's throw to Logan. He's got two options in the box. Zazua and Fonsinho. And Fonsinho puts the ball in the back of the net. That is a vital goal. Because that is an away goal as well. That's great. If we can just hold on to half-time at 2-1. Ideally, let's make it 2-2. Let's score another goal before half-time. And this suddenly changes the whole tie. So, half-time then. It is 2-1 to Kaiser Chiefs. But that Fonsinho headed goal... Is that probably very beneficial for us? Zazu is on a 6.3. Not sure what you're doing. Mayeri's on a 6.4. Mayeri isn't good enough to be playing for us. But we don't really have any other right back. So Mayeri kind of has to do the job. The transfer window is also closed as well. So we can't even strengthen. Zazua is coming off because he's just injured and playing badly. Inza Diabate will come on. Diabate is still very good. He just missed a lot of last season through injury. Diabate with the free kick for us. Kuome is there. Constant Kuome, the central defender's headed effort, goes just over the bar. At the hour mark, Kaiser Chiefs long ball towards the goal. It's a great save from Christian Drogba. It's going to be a corner. A 2-1 defeat isn't ideal, but it's not awful. A 2-1 defeat is not awful. We've got that away goal. A third goal for Kaiser Chiefs possibly might kill it. That's just hit Constant Kuome right in the face. And Ungakobo just runs the ball off the pitch for a goal kick. Wonderful. They are looking uninterested. Let's give them a get creative. Let's see if we can fire them up. I'm also thinking Mayeri needs to be coming off because he's not doing so hot. And this is what I mean by we don't have any right backs. Last season, we would have just played Max Gradle. They're suggesting I play Mohamed Bamba, who weirdly can play as a right back. Okay, we're going for that then. Sure. I've seen we've picked up a lot of yellow cards as well. Koopstat, uh, Kuyate, I think, has just been booked as well. e has got a yellow card. Koopstat's hopefully going to get there first. He doesn't. Number eight for Kaiser Chiefs. Long ball down that right-hand side. They've still got a player there. They've got three players on the right-hand side of the pitch. Running down the right-hand side into the penalty area. It's a great sliding tackle from Constant Kuome. They do keep hold of the ball, though. Cross comes in. It's at the back post. And Christian Drogba, what a save that is. 75 minutes on the clock. 2-1 to Kaiser Chiefs. Drogba is keeping us in this game at the moment. Brenner has gone over to take that corner with his left foot. Where is it going to go? Front post. It's gone over everybody. It's taken a few deflections. And luckily for us, Christian Drogba is there to hold on to the shot now we've possibly got a chance bamba the makeshift right back with the throw collects the ball from the clearance fonsinho back to bamba and bamba with a poor poor pass kuome controls it forward to inza diabate he's got some runners has to go backwards to dosashorno now fonsinho the goal scorer dinks it over to alozi takes a touch goes for goal it's a good save from the keeper fonsinho can't keep the ball in hopefully bamba can keep this highlight alive dosashorno bamba's made some space if he wants to use him and for some reason, we pass to Etim, who was marked. And now Kaiser Chiefs are going to counter-attack. Ungakobo into the penalty area. Keeps going, Ungakobo does. Hits the post. It comes out to Matley. And Thato Matley makes it 3-1. That was awful from us. There was just a couple of bad decisions. Poor decisions in that match. In that highlight, sorry. That just basically meant we balls it up. Still not at the end of the game, though. We are, what, seven, eight minutes away it's controlled wonderfully well from Kaiser Chiefs in towards the goal. Drogba makes a very, very easy save. I don't think that was the highlight. Drogba's going to run with the ball. Is is he going to... Anything, buddy? There you go. He's rolled it out to Constant Kuome. He's rolled it behind Constant Kuome, who's just about kept the ball in play. He's going to run forward. Long, long ball. It wasn't a long ball. It was a ball on the ground to Fontinu. He's going to run into the middle. Bamba's making a run on the right-hand side. It's towards Alozi at the back post. And the Nigerian at Alozi makes it 3-2. Okay, on the night, we're not doing so well, but we are getting some away goals. Two away goals now. We can't defend, but luckily for us, we can attack. There's six minutes of injury time because uh, one of their players has just gone off injured, but we're not seeing any single highlight in the injury time. So it's a 3-2 defeat in the first match. That's not great, but we do have those two away goals. Just want to have a quick check to see whether there are any other uh, Ivorian sides still in the competition. We've got Stad Abdijan, 
who look like they might be going through to the group stages. They're playing a Botswana inside. They're 5-0 up after the first leg. So, uh, yeah, that is looking promising. That would be weird if we weren't the ones in the Champions League group stages. We've got to go forward now to play a number of league games and we'll be back for the second leg against the Kaiser Chiefs in just a moment. We've played two further league games and we've also got some interesting news. I say interesting, it's not massively interesting, but it's quite good to know. Our training facilities and youth facilities have been upgraded. I don't know what this actually means. So in terms of facilities, we've got good training facilities, we've got basic data and analysis, adequate youth facilities, average uh, academy coaching and youth recruitment. So we're, we're getting better. This is the goal. This is what we need to be improving throughout the save. So we're getting there. We're starting to make a little bit of progress. And speaking of progress, in the uh, Ivorian Premier Division, we've won two further matches, scoring nine goals, conceding zero. So yeah, we are back to the top of the table with a positive 22 goal difference after just five games. I think we might be winning the league again. But winning the league means absolutely nothing if we can't get past Kaiser Chiefs. If we fall at this hurdle, we do need to find out, actually. If we fall at this hurdle, do we go into the Confederations Cup? Yes, we do. We go into the Confederation Cup second round. Can we even see like what's going on? So we go into this round, which means we then still need to play two more matches before we get into the group stages. I'm hoping if we go into that, we should probably be fine to just walk our way into the group stages. We will see. Two changes then for the home leg against Kaiser Chiefs. We are bringing in our Guinean, I believe he's Guinean, central defender, Karuma, who has come in for Constant... Is it Constant Kuome? It's, it's him. It's him. He's come in for Constant Kuome, yes. So he has basically come in. He's been replaced because he's played the last couple of league games and obviously we haven't conceded at all. So I think Karuma is a decent player. Also, Roma at Kone will be our right back today because Mayeri picked up an injury. So you know when I said we don't have any right backs... We, we definitely don't have any now because even our backup has to play. I just had a look at Unga Kobo and he's, he's good. He's real good, isn't he? Is he good? Technically, he's got something about him. I don't know. Let's, it doesn't matter. We just need to do what we can do. I mean, I probably shouldn't have done that. Let's give him a passion. I've got faith. Fired everyone up apart from Abubakar Kayate. Fair enough. I didn't check to see whether the away goals actually do anything. I'm assuming away goals do mean something. So we've got that to hold on to. If we can score a goal and win this game 1-0 and draw 3-0, we should go through. Although Kaiser Chiefs do have the ball coming forward. Zvine back to Labusa, the fullback. I think he's a fullback. He's going back even further. If we can nick this away, that would be ideal. Instead, they are still coming forward with the ball. Right-hand side is Ungakobo. Heads the ball all the way back, actually, to Frosler. They are trying to break their way through our somewhat condensed midfield triangle. And I think our two fullbacks also, uh, fullbacks, wingbacks also drop in. Uh, wingbacks, they're wingers, that's what they are. They're inside forward. Dossa Shorno has the ball for us. This is good news. Right hand side is Fonsinho, one of the goal scorers from the first leg. Goes off to the right hand side. Can he get his cross away? He does. It's towards Alozi. It's not Alozi instead. I think it's Matholo. It is Eric Matholo putting the ball into the back of the net. If it stays this way, we might be knocking out the Kaiser Chiefs. That would be perfect. I don't know whether they're called the Kaiser Chiefs. I'm calling them like they're the band. They're just called Kaiser Chiefs. They've got the ball in the penalty area. And Kosi has it. He's made some space for himself extremely well. Crosses the ball in. A header clear from Arginian. And now Pakome Zizua can run off to the right-hand side. He's got lots of space. Instead, he's gone long to Basilia Logan. First time shot from Basilia Logan. And we are 2-0 up in the home leg. 4-3 up now on aggregate. If everything stays this way, we are definitely going through to the group stages. And we're beating the Kaiser Chiefs. Kaiser Chiefs, we're not beating the band. Maybe they're in the squad somewhere. Shortly after our second goal, we've got the ball coming forward again. Alozi, Zazua, right-hand side is Fontinho. No one in the box at the moment. He has to hold it up. Kicks it into the first man. Kone's cross finds Zazua, but the goalkeeper holds on to the effort from the central midfielder. And it looks like... Kaiser Chiefs are going to come forward with the ball. So the highlight has not ended. Labusa all the way back to the keeper once again. Inside his penalty area. We're going to do anything? Going to close him down? We do eventually. But he does just kick the ball upfield. Left hand side attack then. Looking like for Kaiser Chiefs. Zvain who I think scored a penalty. Or was it a free kick or something to knock us out? In uh, oh, Did he score the goal in the final? He might have even scored the goal in the final. I should know. It was technically last episode, but it wasn't. Unga Kobo's in on goal. Straight into the hands of Drogba. It's still 2-0. 
you might have realized that there's like a week between me playing the last episode and playing this one. So I can't fully remember exactly what's going on. Dosashorno to Karuma. Karuma's going to go for a long ball towards nobody. I'm not really sure what the plan was there. My uh, new signing from Guinea. Frosla on the right-hand side for Kaiser Chiefs. Loses out to Joseph E. Tim. Forward to Basilia Logan into the penalty area. And Basilia Logan makes it 3-0. Why could we not perform like this when we played Kaiser Chiefs last season in the final? Why can we not do that when it really matters? I mean, it matters now. But I'd rather have won the, won the Champions League last year and not have to go through this mess. There is a lot happening in this first half. Koopstadt has the ball over the top to Logan. He's on a hat-trick. If that went in, that would have been great. The ball phases through the big television screen there as well. Still not even half an hour on the clock, and we've got another highlight. Kone plays it all the way back to Dossajorno. Romeric Kone has it once again. Can he get his cross into there? He does. It's back to Kone, who is offside. I think he was offside. He was. I'd love for this first half to, like, end. We're still not at half-time. Kaiser Chiefs with the ball in the penalty area. Cross comes in. The ball finds the back of the net. Lyle Foster with the goal. It's 5-4 on aggregate. 3-1 on the night. I don't want Kaiser Chiefs to score again, because if they do, they've cancelled out our away goals. To be honest, because we've scored three, our away goals are now irrelevant. Our ones, anyway. Maybe not so much for Kaiser Chiefs. E. Tim loses out. And Kaiser Chiefs once again coming forward. But nope, Karuma intercepts the ball. Plays it across to his central defender partner, Kayate. Now Koopstad. Kayate again. I'd love to find Alozi. They do manage to find Alozi. He's going to run forward with a bit of purpose. Keeps going. Go for a long range effort. It was garbage. And it's well over the bar. Well, it finally looks like the first half is quietened down. We've had four goals already. We've had a lot of highlights as well. It's going to be 3-1 to Africa Sports at half time. No changes for us at the break. Looks like no changes for Kaiser Chiefs either because basically we're doing all right. Dossa Shorno's looking uninterested. But that is the problem when you have a player who's had his head turned by Monaco. So uh, maybe we bring off Dossa Shorno. It's a highlight which started with the goalkeeper with the ball on his line. So uh, I'm not really sure where this is going to go. Basilia Logan has the ball on the left-hand side. Needs some support. Alozi is one of those players. It's a terrible effort from the winger. The ball is cleared. Kone collects it, though. Is he going to play the ball in towards the penalty area? Logan. He, oh, Koopstads should have kept running. He didn't ke keep his run going. Has the ball now, though. Eat him. There's a run from Kone. Zazua back to Karuma. Now Roma at Kone on the right. He's got three in the middle in the penalty area. He's got an option behind. Zazua is that option. Basilia Logan's there. Can't find the shot. And the ball is cleared and another chance begins. Koopstad to a Tim. Koopstad once again stops and plays it backwards. We are looking to break through. Keep that ball in, Fonsinho. He does keep the ball in but loses out. He still manages to cross that. Not really sure how he managed to do that though. He's done it. The headed effort from a Tim goes over the bar. Right then, what are we going to do? We've got about 20 minutes to play. Fonsinho is going to come off. And we're going to do that. I don't know whether that's really going to work. So Bamba's going to play as a left winger today rather than a right back. Because reasons. Do we do anything else? I don't think we do. Or maybe we do Dossa Shorno for Inza Diabate. And we just swap you two like that. That's what we're going to go with. So he, Tim's going to drop back. Dossa Shorno is coming off because he's looking uninterested. Diabate, as we know, he's actually very good at football. I'm going to give him a get creative. I don't know if that's a good idea. Did I give him a get creative? I did. I thought the game lagged out there. There's five minutes to play. There is five minutes to play. In fact, there's no minutes to play. Three minutes of injury time. We've got a corner. Bamba takes the corner. There's a substitute towards the back post. Basilia Logan is there. Is that his hat-trick as well? It is his hat-trick. It's 4-1 on the night, 6-4 on aggregate. We've beaten the bloody Kaiser Chiefs. We have beaten our nemesis. We are into the Champions League group stages and Kaiser Chiefs are not going to win it this season. Finally, Kaiser Chiefs are out of this competition and we are the bloody team to do it. 4-1 on the night, a hat-trick from Logan. Yes! Yes! So I was expecting this season to be very, very quick. Instead... It might be another interesting one where possibly we get ourselves to a Champions League final. Big news as well. You can see Stad Abdijan have qualified for the Champions League group stages as well. That is big, big news. They finished, I think, second last season. They did finish second last season. So the fact they've qualified for the Champions League is perfect. Well, that is going to do it then for this episode. A very, very successful episode. We finally managed to beat the Kaiser Chiefs. 
get ourselves to a Champions League group stage. They're not going to win it. They've literally won it the last two seasons in a row. They're not going to win it this time around. We've got two Ivorian sides as well into the Champions League group stages, which is absolutely huge. Next episode, then, we are going to find out who is going to be in our Champions League group. And I guess we're probably going to be playing two Champions League group stage games as well. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, do please remember to leave a like. If you are new here and you want to see more of this journey, do hit the subscribe button. I'll be back next time with more Football Manager. I'll see you next time.